Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to configure a network with multiple areas with the help of OSPF configuration protocol. And this protocol is based upon the link state routing algorithm. So open uh, this OSPF is open shortest path first algorithm where every router contains the information of every domain and based upon this information, they det determines the shortest path. The border routers are known as area border, uh, border routers that contains all the information of the connected domain and they share the information with other border routers to determine the shortest path. So for this configuration you must know about the wildcard mask. You must have uh, used subnet mask so many times. So this time we are going to use the inverted subnet mask that is wildcard mask for example if we have the class A addressing that we are going to use in our example as well. So all ones are determining the network ID bits and all zeros are determining the host ID bit. If you invert this subnet mask, you will get the wildcard mask as this means all zeros are inverted to all ones and we can write it like 0.255.255.255 similarly for class B addressing subnet mask will be 255.255.0.0 uh, and for class B the wildcard mask will be 0.0.255.255 means you can calculate the subnet mask for any uh, classful or classless addressing with this formula now we are going to use this network where we have three networks each network with one host and uh, as we have already config uh, configured this network so many times for static and dynamic routing so that will be easier for you to update it to OSPF routing. Now this will be your fourth network and this will be your fifth network. We need to define the network IDs so network IDs are going to be 10.0.0 for this network 20 and for this network we are going to use 30 as a network ID for this network 40 and for this network is having the 50 as a network ID. So I am just keeping it simple. So now next task is to configure the routers for their directly connected network as this router 0 is directly connected to network 10, router 1 is directly connected to network 20 and router 2 is directly connected to network 30. So firstly we need to configure the routers for their connected networks and next we will define the areas within the network. So divide the network into multiple areas. This division is going to be logical one means we will be writing the commands for this division and we will configure the routing according to these areas. So let's configure the routers for their connected networks first then we will move to the routing part. So here I have already connected the routers. I am using router PT. So for that you just need to search for the router and you will get the first router as router uh, PT where you have four fast ethernet modes, uh, nodes, uh, ports and two serial ports that are enough for this means uh, configuration. So here now all the routers are connected and I have already configured the means IP addresses are assigned to the systems and labels are defined. So you just need to uh, make the changes. So here the first network is having subnet mask as 10.1.2 as the host ID is 10.1.1. So just quickly have a review. So here the network uh, uh, IP addresses IPv4 addresses 10.1.1 and the subnet mask is sorry gateway is 10.1.2 okay and the subnet mask is for class A is 255.0.0.0 okay so for this network configuration for the host is done similarly for the second network for the first host we have 20.1.1 and gateway as 20.1.2 I have already labeled these things if not clearly visible next for the third network we have IP addresses 30.1.1 and similarly the gateway is 30.1.1.2 right so all the hosts are configured now it's turn to configure the routers so routers for router 0 will uh, router 0 will be configured for the for the network 10 so that is connected to the fast ethernet 0 slash 0 okay so just turn it on and write the gateway mask gateway as 10.1.2 so the gateway of the network is 10.1.2 and the subnet mask is taken automatically 
so router one, 0 is configured for your network 10 done for router 1 same it is also connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so here for the second network gateway is 20.1.2 subnet mask and done router 2 will be configured as the same port for network uh, number 30 so just turn it on and the gateway here is 30.1.2 subnet mask done so routers are configured for their directly connected networks and we have already uh, divided the uh, means we have decided what area is going to be where these two routers are going to be in area 0 and the router 2 is uh, is going to be with area 1 so we need to configure the routers according to these areas but firstly we need to make the connections router connection with the serial cable serial dt cable so i am using the uh, serial 2 slash 0 here and also the same port serial 2 slash 0 for this connection Okay, just to avoid the confusion, you can also connect to serial 3 slash 0. So, here I am using serial 3 slash 0 for this connection and on the other end also I am using the same port. So, this will make the uh, configuration easier for us. Now, we just need to configure the routers for their neighboring routers. As this router 0 is connected at serial 2 slash 0 with this router so i am going to assign th these ids 40.1.1 40.1.2 for for th uh, this serial connection so 40.1.1.1 done now this router is having three connections one is done fast ethernet 0 slash 0 is already configured now next is serial port for this connection 40 dot turn it on 40 dot 1 dot 2 I am giving it a network ID as 40 because this is network 40 and the all the nodes are means this and this node is going to have the network ID as 40 now done now this router is also connected with router 3 with the serial 3 slash 0 port so for this port I am going to configure it for this ID because this is network 50 50.1.1.1 so router 2 is also connected to the neighboring router but router 3 is not configured yes or router 2 sorry so here router 2 is connected to serial 3 slash 0 serial 3 slash 0 so the address assigned is 50.1.2 done so all the routers are connected to their networks and to each other but routing is not defined yet you can check the routers connection yes they are connected to each other and host are also connected to their routers just check these connections once to make sure we have configured the host or in within the networks correctly so the connections are okay for our networks now we need to define the routing so let's discuss the concept of routing first here like dynamic routing or rip protocol you just need to see where the router is directly connected so here the router 0 is directly connected to network 10 and network 40 okay so we will be configuring the router 0 for these two networks only for their directly connected networks only further router 1 will be configured for 50 40 and 20 and the third net router or router 2 will be configured for 50 and 30 networks means for their direct connections only so let's just quickly write the commands so open the uh, cli mode con uh, with go global configuration mode where you need to enable the router then you need to write the command config t or configuration configured terminal or config t you may write in any form so after this configuration command you will enter in global configuration mode where you need to configure the routers for the ospf routing so here this is your configuration mode now for ospf uh, configuration at router 0 i am defining ospf1 so ospf1 here 1 is indicating the process id 
that simply means we are defining a id process id for this router means this id is linked to this router 0 right so router ospf1 means process id1 for ospf configuration now as this router is directly connected to 10 and 40 network we need to define these connections only means these two connections only and have to write it like this after this command you will get this prompt and you will be writing the network like for rip command uh, rip configuration dynamic configuration we were also writing the network command but this time we are providing the wildcard mask so this is the network id network id next we have wildcard mask and we are defining this router this routers for this connection this connection in area 0 ok so simply write network network id wildcard mask and the area where you need to add this uh, this network or this connection so here i am using area 0 similarly for the uh, network 40 we need to write the same thing just the network id is 40 this time and the area is also 0 ok so let's just configure so we are making the conf understanding the configuration and making the configuration parallelly to avoid any confusion so open the cli mode as we are in sub configuration mode if you uh, are, are have any confusion regarding the global configuration mode sub configuration mode then you can watch another video link is given in the description box so here just exit from the sub configuration mode now we are in global configuration mode and here i need to write the command router ospf one as we are on router zero as you can see the label over here so router zero for ospf one now we just need to write the uh, network command to define the routing so network first network i am going to connect is 10 10.0.0 and the wildcard mask is 255.255.255 and the area is 0 area is 0 you can also copy the command like this and click copy select and click copy now just enter now use the arrow key button and to repeat the uh, previous command and this time I am going to write it for the network 40 rest is same area is 0 so the configuration for this router is done okay you can also define the routers id like this router but that's optional 1.1.1.1.1 okay so uh, you can also define the routers id but this this is optional totally optional now for the second router so the router zeros configuration is okay for the second router or we can say that router one for this router the directly connected networks are 20, 40 and 50 where the, uh, 20 and 40 means two uh, routers belongs to area 0 and one belongs to area 1. The third belongs to area 1, 50 network belongs to area 1. Now similarly we will be writing the commands in global configuration mode. So for this time for router 2 I am going to use OAPF2 means process ID as 2. Now the commands are same for the 20 and 40 networks because they belong to area 0. Now you will be writing network, network ID, wildcard mask and the area. But this time the network 50 belongs to area 1. So you need to write area 1 and network id as 50.0.0 rest is same so let's just quickly configure the network in the cisco packet tracer open the router configuration cli here also we are in the sub configuration mode ospf2 because we are writing the commands for the configuring the router one next as I have already copied the content so just paste it and this time I am going to write it for the network 40 and enter 
okay so network 40 is configured next we have to write the command for network 20 so repeat the command change the network id so it is showing the uh, status as done be, be, means the all the loadings are done <coughs> so simply repeat the command for the network 20 it takes some time after the command is executed so this time i am executing the command for network 20 and third i need to write the command for network 50 but area is just change the area to 1 okay and done you may also assign id to this router router hyphen id uh, 2.2.2 .2 .2, any id so this is done now last we need to configure the router 2 and router 2 is directly connected to network 50 uh, 50 and 30 and similarly like class uh, sorry router 0 we need to define only two network configurations for 50 and for 30 with wildcard mask as 0 0.255 and area this time the area is going to be one for both the networks okay so open the third router router 2 cli mode exit the sub configuration mode if you are in configuration mode next this time I am going to use router OSPF3. You can also keep the uh, process ID same for all the routers, but we, we should change it. Now, I have simply pasted the command. This time I will change the network to 30 with defined within area 1. Executed. Now, next, repeat the command but this time for network 50 because 50 and 30 we need to configure the router for two networks and done configurations are done it 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 is taking some time for loading you can see the message loading is done okay so now let's check by sending some packet data unit from host 1 of network 1 to host 2 of network 2 or we can say that router of network uh, fourth network to the router of network 5 so here I am sending the packet data unit you may get failure for the first time but here we got the successful success status now let's try sending something from first network host to the third network host and we got the success that means we have done the routing uh, uh, accurately for these two areas if you want to keep the same area that is also fine you can keep area 0 for all the commands okay done you can also simulate this by clicking on the simulation or by simply using shift s and run the simulation like a play but with the play button so you can see the movement here the packet is moving from the router of network 1 to router of network 2 and finally the destination router so packet is received successfully at the destination now from the same path the acknowledgement will be sent back to the source so uh, bye and take care hope you have learned this thing you can keep the area same but the main impact of the OSPF will will be visualized if you are using different areas in the network okay because only that uh, then the routers border routers will be able to share the information here this router is acting as a border router uh, and this as a border router for the third uh, for this area two area one sorry and the acknowledgement is received successfully Bye and take care. See you in the next video.